Hey everyone, this is the second video in the OS policies that the policy is the used in virtual memory management. Okay, so the remaining policies will be discussed in this video, which we left in the previous video. Okay, so you can check out the topics in the description below. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing is resident set management. Okay, what was resident set? Resident set refers to the number of pages, refers to those pages, set of those pages of a process which are currently in the main memory. Okay, so that is known as the resident set. As we all know, it is impossible for the operating system to keep all the pages of a process's main memory. Okay, so it decides to only bring some of the pages which are required at the moment. So, so this there is something to think about is like how much main memory to be allocated to a single process. Okay, so to decide that there are many factors to take into consideration. Uh, let's say if we assign a small amount of memory to a process, so if a sm if a process is having a small amount of memory. So there can be many processes in the main memory. Yeah, good. Well, so we can find at least one ready process. But as the amount of memory assigned to a process is small, so there will be many page faults. Because according to the principle of locality, the references are nearby, but if we are not able to load those nearby pages so there's a problem and there is a thing that after a certain size it won't make a difference if the memory if more memory is allocated to a process okay so there should be a balance between the two so there are two types of policies for resident set management the one that is simple one is the fixed allocation Okay, in fixed allocation, there are a fixed number of frames that are given to a pro given to a process. Okay, they can be given at the load time, considering the type of the process, what type it is, whether batch or interactive, or maybe maybe may depend on other other whatever the OS use whatever the OS decides to be suitable. Okay, so yeah, so a process is given fixed number of frames. Okay, so they can be according to the system manager or the programmer preference. The second of the policy is the variable allocation. Okay, so what happens in this one is the process is given some frames at the start, but they can change later on when if there are more page faults. So the system can decide that this process needs more space. So it can increase the number of frames allocated to this or some other process needs some space. So if this process is working fine without many page faults, it can reduce the number of frames from this and take it from here and it can give it to the other process. So yeah, as we have already guessed, variable looks kind of better approach. Okay, it looks better, but still, the better it is, the more sophisticated it gets. So it requires a large overhead as now the OS needs to manage and monitor every active process of how it's going, it's full working, it needs to monitor at each time. So, so since we have decided the number of frames of a process and now we are thinking to replace it so replacement also has a has its own scope that is whether the replacement is done between the local or the global okay so local are the pages which are from the same resident set okay which are of the same process and so and global are that they can be replaced from any of the available frames from the memory which can be of another process okay 
so if i replace locally the pages of the same process are replaced and if i replace globally i can choose any of the pages that are available for replacement the main memory okay they should be unlocked frames as we have talked before what is unlocked frame whose frame bit is 0 whose frame lock bit is 0 that is they are not some critical kernel functions related frames so with this policies there are three possible com combinations okay the one is fixed local that is fixed number of frames given to a process and the replacement is done locally second one is variable local and similarly the third one is variable global okay so first is fixed allocation with local scope in this the frames given to a process is fixed and when a replacement is required it is done among the resident set only okay so the replaced page is also one of the page of the same process so the problems with this is that if we allocate very few frames to this then there will be more page faults as we already know as new data is required and very few spaces there so very few data is currently in the main memory so we need to get more so there will be many page faults and on the other hand if the allocations are large so if we expand this size, the size of this process so the total number of process in the main memory will be reduced okay so there can be a time when not many of the processes are in the ready state they are looking for some IO or some other kind of input so there will be idle time the processor has to wait for some process to become ready so yeah if less processes are there it's again a problem the next technique is variable allocation with global scope okay so the process the number of frames allocated in this can will increase or decrease over time as per the conditions of various processes go okay so it can increase in one process and it will eventually decrease from some other process as some frames of it are given to this one as this process created more page faults okay so the problem with that is let's say I select this page as I want to give the frames of this process to some other process so this my selection of selecting this process may not be right okay now it creates more page faults now I need to give some frames from some other one to this one and I again choose wrongly so the selection makes the whole scenario difficult okay so to counter this as we discussed in the last video page buffering can be implemented so with that it becomes life significant which page is to be replaced as we can reclaim it as it's already there in the memory its reference is just gone okay from the page table so it's easier to get it back of course before it's overwritten so yeah it's provide a significant improvement to that with page buffering now the third one is variable allocation with local scope so what happens in this one is that frame replaced are from the same resident set okay but the size given to one see there are all processes okay and evaluation is done from time to time based on their performance and they can be decided again as it was done at the load time of what their resident site should be okay the difference between this one and the last one is in the last one they were simply replaced with some other process as per requirement but in this each process is again and again time to time evaluation is done this evaluation in previous global scope was done 
when there were many page faults but in this there is a fixed time of reevaluation okay until that reevaluation is done all the replacement take place in the local only okay so there are many strategies the one well known strategy in this one is working set strategy this working set strategy is pretty complex and we are not going to discuss much about this okay just say this is a really complex strategy and the global replacement policy is much easier than that so the next policy is a cleaning policy okay we got the page we replaced it and now we need to remove it okay so this is the exact opposite of the fetch policy it decides when the page is to be written out okay so like the demand paging there is one demand cleaning okay so when a page is chosen to be replaced okay when should i remove it when it is chosen to be replaced pretty simple okay the other thing is pre cleaning pre cleaning is like pre paging but the exact opposite of it it writes in batches before they are even selected for replacement so what it does is that it follows some algorithm and thinks that these pages are going to be replaced later on so it writes the whole of whole bunch of them in batches okay so what happens is demand paging decreases process utilization how as each time a page fault occurs and this page going to be replaced so it takes time to write it back okay and the problem with pre cleaning is that pre cleaning tries to predict the future so it writes the pages but there is a flaw that if it writes and the pages get modified later on so there was no use of the previous writing function that it performed so that it needs to write it again later on so a better approach uses page buffering okay so we discuss page buffering before it keeps the tracks of all pages and it writes later on okay so last one is load control okay load control is the number of processes that are needed to be loaded in the main memory okay how many process we need to load in the main memory that's defined by load control and the same thing as applied as we have applied to previous discussions is if there are too few there can be a time when all of them are blocked and no one is ready as they all or they all are waiting for various ios or are in some kind of blocked state okay and there is no ready process for the computations so another swapping should be done and this wastes a lot of time so to maximize cpu utilization there should be a ready process at each time but when there are so few of them it is not possible every time so now if there is too much see if we include too much processes yeah sure there will be many of them ready at at a particular time but since there are too much too many of them the average size of each of those processes will be less so less size to a process means it continuously needs to swap pages that is more page faults so a lot of time will be wasted in swapping and that leads to thrashing so thrashing is like thrashing as we have seen in maybe the last last video yeah thrashing is when more time is wasted in swapping than in actual computations okay so when the size is small more page replacements will be there and more time will be time will be wasted in this swapping processes okay so yeah that's it for this video okay if you like this video click the thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe 
I will be uploading many more videos relating to the example of paging and replacement techniques. So yeah, keep watching.